My lords, ladies, gentlemen, children, Turkey Rhubarb Band. I was going to say the Knights of Redemption, but they're not there. Company of the Red Glove. Company of the Red Glove. My apologies, gentlemen. And uh, a bunch of people in black and white behind who I think are the mayors of Penzance for this year. <laughs> Otherwise known as Penzance Morris. Thank you for praying. If I can ask all but the children to leave the to sort of spread out because we're going to need the whole of the middle of the road for the children's theatre in a minute. But first of all, of course, the proclamation for Gold Sydney Charter Fair. Um, ah. Anybody know where the charter is? <laughs> ah, Jeff's got it. He, he forgot it last year. Is it in the box? Should we open the box? Take the money! There's no money in the box. And we haven't been round collecting yet, but if you see a collecting tin, do put some money in it. <laughs> no, that's a Chinese restaurant. Oh, fill out the box. Fill out the box. Fill it upside down. No. Welcome, good citizens of Goldsithney, to our visitors from near and far. We welcome you all to this hour. Not yet. Put it down. Thank you. Not till we get to the end, it says. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're all laughing again. That's nice. It's a good start to the day. Shall I start again? I think I will. Welcome, good citizens of Goldsithney, and to our visitors from near and far. We welcome you all to this, our charter fair. First mentioned in the cartulary of St Michael's Mount in 1140. No, that's not 10 to 12 by which time it was well established as the Feast of St. James, and today is St. James's Day. In those days we paid ten shillings to the Priory on the Mount for the right to hold the fair. Before that, in the 6th century, St. Perrin the Little had given the wrestlers of Sithney near Helston a red glove as a prize. The winner of the glove was permitted to collect the market toll for his own use. One fair day, the miners of Goldsithney resolved to contest the prize, and they won it. And from that day onwards, the red glove was presented as a token to open the fair in Goldsithney, the poor of Sithney being given one shilling a year in compensation. That's one shilling between them, not each. Our fair became so important that in the 1600s, King James I of England granted us a royal charter, which holds to this day. So without further ado, I ask your duly representative, your duly elected representative, the Right Honourable Sir Geoffrey, to present the red glove and declare Gull Sifty Charter Fair open! Fighting for a lady's favour. <laughs> what you're about to see is a lesson. It's a knight fighting a soldier, but he won't sully his blade with more blood, so he's just going to give you a damn good lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you. 